When you think of band kids, what comes to mind? Minecraft! It is my it is It's terrifying, right? But I have a confession to make. I used to be a band kid. Not to toil or anything. But guys, I have news. As of last May, I quit band. And it went a little something like this. Yeah, I quit band, not to toot my own horn, but I can't, man. It's stuck at the school, yeah. and it feels really cool, yeah. but at least this was part of the plan, yeah, man. man. I've waited my whole life to quit band. No, you didn't. What? You didn't quit band. Huh? You just aged out, and that's different. Oh, yeah, well, um, uh, I actually don't have a reply to that. Well, that was awkward, but it's time for the rest of the video. So last year, I graduated high school, and in turn left my high school's band program. I really enjoyed it for the most part, and I could have auditioned for my college's band, but I didn't, because who even does that? My friend Billy, that's who does. We were in band together for years, and he ended up graduating, and now he plays trumpet in Texas a and Corps of Cadets. Yo, what's up? Hello. Hello. So what would you say the main difference is between doing band in high school versus doing band in college? For me, in, in the Aggie band, it's much more of like an actual job that takes up a lot of time compared to high school where it was like an after school activity. During the fall, we practice every day of the week pretty much except for Sunday. So, you mentioned high school. Um, what is the most memorable thing about high school band for you? Um, probably the trips we took to, like, Florida. <laughs> yeah. This actually didn't have much to do with the band, but they were still probably the most fun part. Well, enough of his experience. It's time to talk about me. In this video, I will talk about some chaotic things I remember from being in my high school's band. Things that might have made me quit if I had been in there for any longer. Actually, who am I kidding? I barely had any friends outside of band. Aww. Let's start with marching band. I went to high school in Texas, which means that it was boiling outside all the way from summer band in July until the end of September. But when the clock struck midnight on October 1st, it instantly became the coldest place on earth. I just remember us shivering during marching practice. Oh, and the uniforms we were wearing before that we were sweating in, those did nothing to help against the cold. Speaking of marching season, a staple of these times was the football games, specifically the bus rides to and from the games. They were really fun, honestly, and someone always brought a Bluetooth speaker so we could listen to the hits, which included Sicko Mode, Gangnam Style, Minions Diss Track. We even had rap battles too, which were pretty chaotic. Pull up with the squad, yeah, I'm always on top, yeah, you're gonna get shot, yeah, um, uh... Um, okay, uh, you're really bad, and I hate you, and you suck at Fortnite. Hey man, that's way too far. I know we're rat battling, but that line about Fortnite really got to me. Aww. Yeah, I'm sorry man, it won't happen again. Whoa there, kiddos. These rap battles are getting pretty crazy. Almost as crazy as the fact that you can email Eli at this email address and he'll read it in a video. Pretty cool, I think. Right, kids? Uh, yeah, but shouldn't you be looking at the road? <laughs> Emailing and driving is dangerous, and also makes you look like a nerd. Also on the buses, they wouldn't allow boys and girls to sit together, which seemed kind of old-timey at first, but after seeing some of the band couples and what they would do, it makes a lot of sense. Speaking of things that are banned now, let's talk about the band lock-in. We only had one overnight lock-in in the entirety of my band career, but it was definitely one of the strangest and most chaotic experiences of my life. We played board games, ate hot chips, and sang karaoke until it was midnight. Then, we were promptly instructed to go to bed. The girls slept on air mattresses in the main band hall area, and the boys slept on the cold, hard tile floor of the large ensemble room. Wait, did I say sleep? I meant scream, throw food, and blast meme music from a Bluetooth speaker, all in pitch black. I'll never forget the feeling I had when I woke up at 6am the next morning. Oh, what's happened to me? Oh, it's alright, ma'am. It's just a prank, bro. Here, let me get that for you. Ah, oh, yes. The band prank. We had a lot of those. In the tuba section specifically. I don't really know about the rest of y'all. There were the classics. Shoving stuff in tuba bells. Putting aura gel on people's mouthpieces so they couldn't feel their lips. Putting mouthpieces in shoes for some reason. 
I don't know. Also, something I haven't mentioned yet in this video is concert season. But that's for good reason, because nothing ever happens during then. Except the start of COVID! One, three, four, five, six, Finding the right formation isn't as easy as it looks. This era was basically the dark ages of band for everybody. Not only were half the football games canceled and everyone forced to be socially distant while marching, but also some people had to wear these weird masks made for their instruments to prevent the spread of disease. They were really weird, like wasn't air still being pushed out? The brass players in my band also had to keep puppy pads on the floor to empty spit onto, which is actually a really good and hygienic idea, but they immediately went away when COVID restrictions lifted. But perhaps the hardest part of doing high school band during COVID was that half the people just skipped every rehearsal, making it nearly impossible to make any progress in the music. I would give the COVID era a 4.5 out of 10. I mean, it was still kind of fun. Moving along chronologically, I became a senior, and at the beginning of my senior year, COVID restrictions lifted a little bit, making band a little more normal. At the end of that school year, we had our annual band banquet, and since it was my senior year, I volunteered to make the band banquet video. This video was supposed to be representative of everything that happened in band in the past year, and it would be played at the banquet in front of everybody. In the past, these videos hadn't really been my favorites because they just seemed like slideshows of the creator's friends, and I thought I could do better. In fact, me and Billy, he helped too, made it our aim to create the greatest band video of all time. We conducted interviews with people involved in various sections and friend groups across the band, all to create a cohesive story. A story about how band is more than just a collection of musicians, and how it's actually a place of learning, growing, and friendship. After the video finished playing, some of my friends and even the head director were emotional about it. I found out later that some people I knew were planning on quitting band until they saw my video, and it changed their perspective entirely. I never realized that something I created could have an impact on people like that, and it was a really moving moment. So why did I quit? Well, I graduated high school, and I could have auditioned for my college's band, but I just didn't. I had poured seven years of my life into this program, learned an entire instrument, made friends, lost friends, but made some of the best memories of my life so far. Still, I realized that my senior year, no matter how amazing, was a good closing chapter for this period of my life. I had things yet to explore in college, things that I might not have got to put my all into if I were still involved in band. Still, I wonder what it would have been like to continue band into college. So I contacted my friend Nick, who is a music composition major, and he agreed to give me a tour of UT's School of Music. First thing you know about being a music student is um, you never take the sidewalk to the Sarah and Ernest Butler School of Music. Normally you only use this elevator if you're carrying like a big load or like a bunch of instruments, but no one's here right now, so. All right, now you can jump to go down, right? Practice room. I like how this is like same quality stands and stuff as my high school. No, yeah, to be honest. And the funny thing is like all the stands say UT Music, one of these was at my high school. Don't know how. Oh, this is the band hall. That's the instrument room. You can like rent any instrument there and they have Big Bertha in there. Oh wow, so these are the offices. That reminds me of a moment from my high school career. Hello, Mr. Band Director. Why were you wanting to talk to me? I just wanted to say that I watched your video, Minions Diss Track. I liked it. Oh, uh, thank you. But there have been some recent occurrences of cyberbullying within the band, and I wanted to tell you to be careful about how you talk about the band in our videos. Wait, what do you mean? I mean, don't reference our band, don't wear any band shirts in the videos, just overall don't talk about the band program negatively. Uh-oh. 